All right, I'm going to show you how to get LSP diagnostic counts into your status line in NeoVim and specifically light line, but this should apply to really any status line plugin that you work with or just using the status line straight up, but Lightline gives us a nice little API to use. You know, the concepts are generally the same, you just have to unravel it a little bit. So first we'll take a look at how this manifests. All right, so we'll have a look here at map, and as you can see here, we get a linter error, but we're not getting an LSP error because the LSP is not looking at your lint configuration, whereas with AL you can tell it what you want to use as far as standard or your own ESLint configuration. Well, the LSP is doing everything on the server. It's just looking at your code and saying, hey, this is wrong. And with JavaScript, you're not getting what you'd get from a Rust analyzer. It's just getting linting here. And so it's limited on what it can tell you and what the LSP thinks is an error. So for JavaScript, I leave AL going with linting so that I can get, you know, linting errors. Now, if I blow away something like array, now I get an LSP error because it understands that, hey, there's a declaration or statement expected. So when it's parsing through this, it can see that. And so you'll get that count at the bottom. And then if I were to go up to here and say, yeah, equals, oops, require, and we'll just say whatever. Okay, now I'm getting a hint that file is a common JS module. It can be converted to ES6, but it's also saying that A is declared, but its value is never read. So if I went down in here and I said console.log A, now that error goes away, and now I just have the hint of file is common JS that may be converted, but there's no more error there. And you can see down at the bottom that I just have the light bulb with the one, and that is the hints. So we can look at that and you can see that's right there in my quick fix list. And then for linting from ale, I have that going to the location list. So you can see that's there array prototype is read only and and so you can see how that works you get some interesting stuff as a hint from the LSP and you'll get your linting from ale all right so now let's take a look at rust if I go here and I change the name of this particular parameter you'll see here that uh, I get an error on this line that a local variable with a similar name exists. And you can see with the two squares that it also cannot find theme name in the scope. So if we clear that up, then we're good. Let's take a look at getting rid of a match arm. And you'll see missing match arm. So we get that. That's good. If I put spaces in here, I just save it. You know, I don't get any sort of linting there because when I save it, reformats it with Rust format. So there isn't any real situation there. Get rid of that. And you'll see that I get the diagnostics there to my status line. All right, so how do I get this stuff into my status line? If you look in the light line documentation, you can see that you can create a component function and it shows you right here an example that they're using already with git branch and it's using fugitive head. And you can just sort of follow what they do here, which is what I'm doing here. You have these guys here. so you have a key LSP diagnostic hints warnings errors and then give it a name to be used wherever you want to show it 
And you see the counts here on this Vim file because I do have the Vimal LSP running. There just happen to be no errors, warnings, or hints right now. And so what you want to do is create a key for each function component that you want to use or component function and then you'll put them in reverse order here so file type will be to the furthest right as you can see down below then linter errors from AL which you've seen and then the hints then the warnings and the errors so it's backwards there and then for the hints, all you have to do is check to see if there are LSP clients. And then if there is, you'll put a light bulb and a colon. And you'll notice I'm using a light bulb down in the status line, but it's the circle with the H in it in the actual gutter because the light bulb does not fit properly in there it's uh, too big as far as bytes so that won't work and then I show hint and if I'm not in a file that has an LSP then I just show a little crab because why not All right same thing with warnings errors this is just copy and paste to the last one before it. You could put these together. You could build a plugin that does this. And you can see if you just go to help LSP and we just do get count. You can see I got the idea from right here, which is just use the get count error warning. And then of course I scaled it down here to just be really simple. Show me the light bulb, show me the count and if not, then show me the crab. So the count is zero if I'm in something with an LSP, but if I'm in a markdown page, then it'll just be three crabs. So, or as you can see in a help file here. And so, you know, this could be made better. It could add more features to it, or instead of using three different component functions here. But this is just to show how straightforward it is and following the Lightline API and the suggestions here for LSP status, you just sort of poke it together. You know, I recommend getting the Vimal LSP set up. If you see here, I have NVim LSP set up, obviously. Completion, I'm not using because I'm using Compi, which is the most wonderful thing ever and you should definitely check into that and you can just take the defaults it's amazing and then recently changed from get gutter to get signs which is nice and of course I'm using lightline and you've seen all this all right and now here is where I set up the Vimal language server and <laughs> gone full circle here because Lua <laughs> I'm using Lua to require the Vimal language server so this is all the compi setup stuff and this is all in my init.vim file which is up on what's that smell dots and you can grab all this it's changing a lot but some of this core stuff doesn't change and you can see this here is something I got from a github issue from from NeoVim and this is what's populating the quick fix list so you can steal this from me because I stole it from a GitHub issue where somebody was kind enough to post it. And what they're doing is uh, populating the quick fix list when they publish the diagnostic information. AL is populating your location list already automatically, so this is a nice way to have things in your quick fix list from the LSP diagnostics. All right, so now you know how to get all that set up in there, and you know how to set up Lightline, so you're gonna need Lightline. And if you want to get that little AL box that I had, you can do that. If you're using a linting like that, that you might want to do. If you're using Rust Analyzer with Rust, you already have everything. But with JavaScript, you might want that. I am using 
the color scheme CI Dark. It's a heavily modified, and this is how you set up your light line status bar. I'll go ahead and show you the rest of my Rust setup here. I did a video on my Rust setup a while back, and it's decked out a little bit more because I'm using Compi and things like that, but what I had in the original video is relevant, just I've switched out to using Compi, which is amazing, and that deserves its own video, and you should definitely check it out. All right, well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, and there'll be more NeoVim and Rust and JavaScript content coming soon. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Have a great day.